Hello everybody and welcome back to Sky Saga Alpha 5. We are back here on the arena and it is time for another Sharp Rock Challenge. So this week we've got Blessimist, Lemon Pledge, Onyx Eve, Machina Dragon and Kixity here with us to go through the Sharp Rock Challenge. So just like last week we're going to go bare naked into a dark world and we're going to have 40 minutes to collect up as much stuff as we can and gear up as best as we possibly can. If you die in the Dark World, you take a 5 minute penalty before respawning, grabbing whatever you can and continuing on. If you die in the last 5 minutes of the game, you are allowed to run in, grab all of your stuff up before jumping back over to the arena. Just so that it's a little bit fair, because if you die in a Dark World with nothing, then you end up with nothing when you respawn. So, it's kind of not fair if you don't have anything when you jump back to the PvP arena. And then, of course, once we get back here, it is going to be a hud off fight to the death. So I think it's time for all of us to jump over to our own home worlds and get started on the game for the day. On one, we're going to throw our keystones in and get started. So, okay. three, two, one. Time has started, people. Okay, so we're here in world, and it's time to get started. So very quickly, we're going to want to try and find two sharp rocks and head for the trees, because last time I struggled on getting wood, which was a bit of a pain. So we're going to go straight for a tree this time, rather than go straight for a cave, because if we can have wood early on, then we can get started really, really quickly. So, should be enough wood, but I don't think I'm going to stop right now. I want to make sure I've got enough to do a whole bunch of stuff pretty quickly on this one, and I'm going to have to head to a cave pretty soon, because we're going to start taking lots and lots of cold damage, which is going to be a problem, but well, at least we have wood, and that's the reason why I've come back to the Arctic, is there is surface wood all over the place that I can get my hands on. So, very quickly here, I've heard a bear, so I'm actually going to make up a few bits and pieces that we're going to need right now. So I'm going to get some pickaxes done. I also want to put a shield together. Hopefully this stuff doesn't take too long, because otherwise we are going to start taking damage. Come on, come on. There and there, that's perfect. And then let's put a shield together as well. Three seconds to craft. And that's just going to help us kind of stop up a little bit of the damage that's going to happen if we run into anything we don't really want to be running into. Okay, wow, what is that down there? That doesn't look like a place I want to go. I'm going to grab that leather up, and some food! Oh, that's an awesome little start there. We've run into something killing something else, which is really good, because we don't have to kill it off ourselves. Now, I'm not sure if this is a cave, or if this is just a hut that is a cave. Let's head down there and get started. Oh, and of course, we can see perfectly well in this cave this time. Let's pull some torches out anyway. Let's go a little further into the cave to make sure we don't take cold damage. Grab the pickaxes out on the other hand here. Alright, down we go. Please don't be flooded. Oh, and it's flooded. That's not good. Hang on, what's this over here? Is this bit over here flooded? Yes, and there's yetis in there anyway, so we don't really want to be in there. Let's get out of the flooded section of the cave. See what we can do in the non-flooded section of the cave. Oh, hang on, we're not where we started. But this is good because we've got a little bit of extra cave and some metal here. So it's perfect, we can get started already. We need to get out of the cold though. So that's gonna be a big problem here. So I need to be over there to get my metal out. But what we can do is I'm gonna to have to waste that food I've got to warm back up again because otherwise we are going to freeze to death before the game even begins. But let's get out a forge, get that started. One of those. And we're slowly warming back up, that's good. And also we don't actually have to fight anything in this cave so far, which is also a good thing. This is actually not a bad start, it's a better start than we had the last round anyway, which... Yeah, that start was pretty terrible last round. And I think it's the the rule change of 
starting the clock on the start of the throw into the portal has actually made this difference. I just need to check the time here. Alright, I should put this one into chat. Cool. So I'm going to have to keep throwing bits and pieces into the chat. Just so that everybody knows how long we've got left in the game before the end. So we'll keep going. I don't actually have a clear idea of what I want to do this time. We are in a dungeon, which is a cragstone depth, so that's going to be good if we end up end up running through it, but it's also going to be quite a risk. So I want to be a little bit more prepared than I was last time before we go in here and run that through. But I think we can do that. I think we can actually run through pretty quickly if we manage to get the stuff started as well as I'm hoping we do. So let's place down Forge, get an anvil going. Definitely not going to stay in this cave forever because there's not a whole lot in this cave for me, but for now, I just need to get started. Craft that guy up. Let's jump up the top here and see what we can see. I'm not sure if this is actually the entry that I went into or not. No, it doesn't really look like it. Okay, so we're going to collect up a few more crystals while we're here. So we're going to need that for the Falx that I want to build later in the game. I don't really need more wood, so I'm probably going to just ditch that wood after especially if we start running out of materials, or material spots, I should say. All right, back down in here. See how our forge is going. Perfect, let's get an anvil crafted. Bam, bam, bam. And we've only got five all left, damn. So we're gonna have to get moving pretty soon. Sooner than I wanted to, anyway. Because we're going to need more ore, that's a thing that needs to happen pretty quickly. Let's pick this guy up. Now it is a little bit foolish to be moving right now because it is night time out there, but I don't really have much more of an option. I want to keep moving so that I can get enough materials to actually do a little bit better this game, hopefully. So it was not too bad, I guess, in terms of equipment in the end, but I could have been a lot better than what I was. Alright, so let's build a little staircase out of here. Check the map too, see if we've seen anything. That's a very interesting looking structure, and that looks like a cave, so I think that's what we're going to aim for next. It's just kind of on the outside of the vision there. So let's see if we can head over that way. I'm going to have to just sprint across the surface, see if we can find any more loot from things that have been killed. Also see if we can see any landmarks, because they are going to be a big, big help, as they were last time round. Most of our stuff came from those landmarks at the end of the last game, so fingers crossed on another good set of landmarks. Yep, oh, and we've got skeletons all over the place. That's not going to be fun to deal with. Of course the Arctic is also very mountainous, which I don't think is going to be good for this. I'm going to need to do that dash pretty quickly. Alright, where am I heading? Over that way. Hopefully I don't die here. Come on. Wow, this is going to be a bit of a mad dash. Alright, is this a cave? Please tell me this is a cave. No, it is a rock formation. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, that looks like a cave over there. Where are you? Aha, perfect. So, in here, alright, what do we got? Oh good, so we've got some more ore up here, that's good. Bam, 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 alright, let's throw those down. And have a look at the time as well, because we need to throw that in, in a second, because it's getting close to 30 minutes having elapsed, or ha having left, I should say. Okay, so that wasn't too much ore, but let's head down a little bit further and see what else is in this cave. So we've got some more ore here. There's got to be a bad guy around here somewhere. There's always, 
always something in these caves out to kill you. Oh, this is a great, great cave. We've got lots and lots of ore floating around in here. I like this cave a lot. And there doesn't appear to have been anything spawned in here either. And we've got so much ore. Alright, this is awesome. This is it. This is us. Sorted for the game now. Perfection. Let's go back all the way up to the top and just mine our way down here. I'm going to have to kind of mine and craft as we go because I want to try and get a sword up and running. I think we won't even bother going for the standard level sword. We're just going to go straight for a falchion this time round. I need to double check though how much I need for a falchion. Let's just take a look in here. Falchion, falchion, falchion. Metal falchion, there you are. Leather strap 4, damn. So we're going to need to go back outside and kill some things very quickly. So we might even make up just a normal sword after we've done this so that we can go outside and kill things pretty easily because I don't think I've got enough leather. No, just one grey. It's not going to be enough to do anything, really. We collect up all this metal, create a sword and maybe even a helm. There's also some frost steel down here as well, so we want to get started on some armor and all that kind of stuff. I think we're going to definitely go for armor out of frost steel. If we're using the Falks, then they don't get any damage bonus from using the, suns, uh, the frost steel. So all that's going to do for me is slow my Falks down. That's something I don't really want to do. So we're just going to have to stick with the iron ones for now. That's going to be the best bet. And then once we've got a, a falc and probably a proper shield going, I mean the, the wooden shield is going to be alright, but it doesn't quite take as much damage as a metal shield would. And there we go, we've already got some frost steel going. This is perfect. I love this cave. This cave is amazing for a, a start of a challenge like this. Alright, there we go. Come on, jump. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's grab some more out of the wall. We might even be able to get started on our armor pretty quickly here. Try and get that desert armor, because it's the, the best armor I currently have, and it's also very, very cheap to make. Alright, so let's see what we've got. We've got enough to get started on a few bits and pieces. Let's put down our devices get going, get some crafting happening. Bam. Bam. Okay, so... For our armor, what do we need? What do we need? We need two metal plates, four metal rods. Let's get the metal rods crafted up now. We want to get some plate going as well for the sword. And of course, we're going to need a few rods as well to get some sword stuff happening. Oh, look at this. There's even more of this stuff in the ceiling. This is perfect. Of course, we are going to gear up as much as we can here and then still head into some of the adventures in this world because if we can find something good in there, we might actually be able to get the edge over some opponents in this game. That's all going to be about gearing up as well as possible, which is, I guess, kind of the aim of this game, really. Alright, so we've got some sky iron plates. Got some rod, and I need some more iron plate. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, quick. Put some of that on so we can get the sword going. Oh, and we've got a skeleton in the cave. That's not what I wanted because this guy's not going to give me anything, really. He's not going to give me leather, he's not going to give me food. He might drop an arrow, but that's about it. Having said that, he's going to be relatively easy to kill with what we've got, so. Not a huge pain, but still, you know, just something that would have been better. Could have been better if we had a better spawn in here. We could have got some leather or other bits and pieces that would have been a lot more helpful. However, we're getting a lot of frost steel, which is exactly what I wanted this early in this game. So it's going to be interesting to see where we go from here, because we've got fair amount of frost steel going, so we can actually make up some frost steel plate 
I'm going to have a chest plate pretty quickly into this game, very soon after the first sword, which is awesome. Alright, here we go. First sword time. Bam, minute 30. Alright, let's go around and find some more iron, find some more frost steel. I definitely want to try and get a full set of armor this time around, um, because we do have enough metal around the place to get that full set of armor going. Let's go down into here and check out if we can find any more frost steel. Yes, we can. Perfect. All right, this cave seems to keep going. Let's see what else we've got around here. I'll pull up the shield just in case we end up facing a rather nasty spawn. Wow, this cave just keeps going and going and going. And we've just got skeletons, so we're going to back up and run away because they are no good to us in any way, shape, or form. So we're going to have to keep coming down through here once we've kind of kitted up a little bit more. I'm going to grab my torch out of here too. Head back up. I'll grab some of this metal out too while we're here. So I want to try and get at least part of my helmet in frost steel as well. I think. Once we've done a few of these, I'm actually going to set up a little area on my home base and show off the armor that I can make every time I do one of these challenges, because it's always interesting to see what you can pull out of a challenge like this, so I think it'd be cool to, to have that set up somewhere and kind of show it off to the world, as it were. And here we go. Almost there. Alright, more frost steel, and we've got the sword done, alright. I'm going to take that sword outside and try and kill something else off. If we can get that last little piece of leather, we'll be doing very, very well. So let's actually get this stuff crafted into leather now. I'm going to go four rods as well. Oh, and I've been followed, apparently. Where did that arrow come from? Here. There we go. Alright, I need to get my sword out so this is a fair fight. Perfect. Awesome. There we go. Not really a problem at all. Alright, let's get... Some leather strap happening so we can get our armor up and running because that is of course another thing that we're going to need for our armor. Pull that torch. Get all the way up to the top here. Probably should make a few more torches in amongst this set as well. Alright, let's see what we can see around here. I don't see any bad guy symbols which is not good because of course that's what we're after and of course we are out in the cold too so yeah, right, here we go. That's a skeleton. We don't want that guy. Ember Wolf. Perfect. Come here, Ember Wolf. I have to kill these guys off as well because they're going to kill me instead. Alright, come here. Die. Alright, uh, there we go. So, I hate skeletons in this type of thing, because they are just completely useless and take health if they manage to hit you, which that one definitely did. Now we've got a frost wolf. This guy is good. We need his stuff. Perfect. Alright, let's see what type of leather we've got. White pelt and black pelt. Okay. So, we might even have to hold off a little bit on getting the armor, because... We've now got two black pelt, which is just enough to do what I needed to do for the falc. So we're going to need to craft up the rest of this leather as well. Get that going. And then if we can get those two things together, we're going to have a chest plate and a falc ready to go. So that stuff is black, correct? No, that's grey, damn. So we are all out of luck right now. So right, we'll just craft up the black and the white. We we'll use the grey. I'm getting a chest plate. Bam, bam, bam. Craft that up. Let's see what the helmet needs. We need six plate for the helmet. So let's go grab some more ore while we're sitting around doing nothing. We'll be able to get a helmet set up. 
I'm going to go with the Frostil and Sky Iron Helmet here. Of course, this may be a bit of a foolhardy move because we might run through an adventure in a second and find some helmets or some armor of some kind. That's all right. For now, I'm pretty happy with where we're going with all of this stuff. So let's get some plate done up, and then we need to go kill that skeleton that is shooting at us. This guy is just getting to be a bit of a pain, really. We really should also make up some jewels so that when we get to that point, we can get all of that stuff done for the Falk too. So, here we go. Let's get some jewels crafted up. Got way more jewels than I need. Go back up here and collect up all of the sky iron because we'll make that into our Falk once we get to that level. Also, just kind of waiting to warm back up a little bit so I can go back to the surface and kill off some more wolves, hopefully. Hopefully we can get some more wolves spawn and we don't end up just getting more skeleton spawns. Although I think that was mostly to do with the fact it was night time. Should I do a quick time check here too? Nineteen minutes left. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this one, and I will see you tomorrow for the rest of this challenge.